Righto, tell you there, champs. Now, this here is the Dell Inspiron 27 7000 series. And just have a look how sexy it is. Have a look how premium it looks, how modern it looks. That infinity edge display, that tiny bit of fabric underneath the display, aluminium frame, it just looks premium. And what do you get these days for about $870 US? Not much. Like flagship phones cost $1,000. Can you believe? On Dell's website now, US $873, $1,600 in Australia. At the moment, that's the starting price of both of them. And you can get two models, you can get the black one. But look at this one, look how sexy this white one is. Now, the first thing that happened is when I opened the box, and by the way, this comes already assembled. You just whip it out and it's ready to go. Connect your keyboard up. And by the way, you do get included keyboard and mouse. It's white too, so it does match here. Of course, if you get the black one, you'll get a black one. The keyboard and mouse is perfectly fine. The only thing I would say is you actually need a USB dongle and pull around the back to actually use it. It would be nice if it just automatically connected via Bluetooth or something like that, but whatever. I mean, are you going to complain for the price? Come on. And the people that have come into this room, and there's been like a few in the last few days. Wow, that looks mad. That looks killer. And it looks better than iMac. And I'll remind you again, at the moment, $873. Wow. When I did pull it out of the box, the first thing that struck me was it was a 90 watt power supply. It's external. And I'm thinking, 90 watts? That is really low powered. And that's because this thing here has a 10th generation CPU. One I have here is the i5 10210U processor. So these are the Comet Lake parts. So these are 15 watt CPUs and they're very powerful but very power efficient. So this thing is not going to use much electricity at all. It's going to be powerful enough to pretty much do anything. And this will suit people for a lot of uses, just general home use, student, point of sale, businesses, home office, you know, this will do everything but the most demanding sort of heavy like hardcore gaming or, you know, heavy video production sort of stuff. That's not what this is for. And you can tell by the price, I mean, this would actually be amazing for a point of sale device because this 27 inch display is touch also you can get two models you can get the touch version and the non-touch you are also able to get a geforce mx 110 two gigabytes graphics card so that's like if you need to be doing like you know a little bit of light video editing or just anything that needs a gpu casual sort of games not hardcore heavy duty stuff but that would just give you enough oomph to be able to do you know this would be good for 1080p editing or music production productivity work sort of stuff and even like photography and stuff like that because the display even though it's not the brightest at 220 nits and the color gamut's 80 percent srgb the display is actually quite color accurate i actually couldn't tell the difference between the calibrated and the non-calibrated display except for a little bit more contrast the colors were spot on so when it comes to the display, you get what you pay for. This is a very affordable all-in-one, and I have no complaints with the display for the price. Although if you are in a really bright environment, yeah, maybe there may be an issue there. But most of the time with desktop, you always stick it in the right spot, and you know brightness really won't be an issue. As most of my sort of desktop monitors, I turn them right down. Now if we go in and have a look, if we have a look on the back which is the only place where you have ports, you have the power jack, you have the HDMI in, HDMI out, so you can actually use this as an external monitor. It's HDMI 1.4 as well. You've got USB Type-C, so that's 3.1 Gen 2. You could be Ethernet, a USB 2, and then some USB Type-A's 3.1 and a universal headphone and audio jack. You also get an SD card reader, so that's quite handy. The power button is underneath on the bottom and you do have a reset button there and that's about it. So you got all the ports you want really. They're around the back, so you know, once you set them up, it's fine. But yeah, it would have been nice if they were on the side as well. You also have Windows Hello. And by the way, can you see the webcam? No, you can't because it is a pop-up webcam. So you press it down, it'll pop up. So this is great for privacy. This will keep Ash from Vitudio happy, but it's great that it uses Windows Hello, can log you in, and also you can push it down for privacy. The sound is actually quite good, except if you have it at higher volumes, it will distort. I'm not going to say they're the best speakers in the world. They're perfectly adequate for the price and for the target audience. You're not going to have any issues watching movies. It's really good, actually, in that regard. And with the performance, have a listen now. This is under full load.
it's going to maintain over two gigahertz on extended runs. It's not going to be loud and it's going to maintain that sort of 15 watts of power. So we know what these parts do. They're great for sort of like casual games like Civilization, Football Manager, just, you know, casual sort of games, hardcore games, even if you get the model with the graphics card. Not really. Just stick to the casual games. But these temp generation CPUs are more than powerful enough to do pretty much everything you want other than hardcore gaming or, or really heavy pro content creation sort of stuff. I've got to say, it's a beautiful device. All the performance checked out. Awesome having a touch display on an all-in-one. It's stylish. It's going to look good. You know, if you've got a hairdresser or a business or something like that, it's always going to look good on the table and it's going to get the stuff you need done, your business stuff done, no problems whatsoever. And I can't believe the price. The price is amazing. What you get for the price, yeah, just no-brainer. Just buy it. The only real cons are, you know, would have been nicer if the display was brighter. We had some sort of, you know, ports on the side of it or something like that. But for its intended use, there's nothing really to complain about. It's beautiful. It's stylish. It's a great package and affordable. So check out this Dell Inspiron 7000 for $870 or whatever it was. That's a steal. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.